there's, a, there's like a, an emotional cutoff. And always remember, you can always just, like I did to you, set 825 oil. You've got to bring it like there. So I would have went 810. So if 810, it meant buying it, would you pay that? So you've got to ask at the right time. Let's um, be a buyer, I'll be the agent, and let's do another one. Ones that always like get with me, okay, here's the situation, and this just probably can happen. Mm-hmm. Um, 30 Dorset, 99.50, yeah. you, you know me, or do you want to ask questions, or do you want me to tell you my situation as the buyer? You just be it. Okay. Yeah. So I've done my second inspection, person buildings come back, I come out, we're happy with everything, um, really appreciate all the time you spent with us. Um, we'd like to put forward an offer of, of eight eighty. For this app? Yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> How come? Um, well, we offered nine fifty on uh, one around the corner. And we just think it's a little bit better quality. Like it's got a bit Which bigger land. Um, Twenty two window, whatever it is. Yeah. Well, um, they look dangerous. But why didn't you buy that? The best and building come back really bad. The person building came back then? Yeah, yeah. And so it wasn't very good then? No, well the house was good, but termites, yeah, we just couldn't deal with that young family. So the house wasn't very good then for what they were asking? Yeah, yeah. Okay, this is fine. Mm-hmm. But I, just because there's termites in that house doesn't mean there's termites in this house. Yeah. So, what's the guy again? 9 to 9.50. Okay. So what's going to buy? Probably towards 9.50. So, you're struggling with the range, I think, eh? Like the why nine to nine fifty? Mm, yeah, it's, yeah. It's not that we don't have it. Like I just told you, we offer nine fifty. It's yeah. Just I just don't know. It, it's that. It's just a nine fifty house to us. It might not be. So should we look at nine fifty houses then? Have you seen others? Mm. Yeah, we have. We we do like this one, but we're just not at nine fifty. Mm-hmm. What are you at then? We probably do like. In the night somewhere, maybe like not nine, 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 nine twenty. 15. Like we left ourselves a little bit of room. So I knew you would come back and say eight eighty. You want a little bit more, but I think no, no, no. maybe not no, a lot more. Yeah, yeah. I think that's just what we're going to have to sit for now. At yeah, 9, at nine ten. Yeah. Why don't we just keep looking? Like it's. I'm sure I'll find something for nine ten. Have you seen many homes for nine ten like this? You know, fully renovated, single level, double garage, and a pool, and a cul de sac. I haven't. Um, I don't know if you have. I've worked in this area for 25 years. We don't just price things like however, whatever. There's consideration around it. So, and I forget what I think. There's interest in the house already with you and another person. So, it's obviously obviously hit the sweet spot. Yeah. The question in my mind is: This the home that you want? This this is what I'm thinking to myself. Or do you just want to try and buy something at a lower price? What's What's That's motivating you? Yes, yeah, so yeah. Well, can you afford it? Yeah. Well, buy it. Yeah. I'm not going to push you anymore because I think they will pay it by then. Mm. I think so anyway. There's not really. No, any other, I don't know any other more objections. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> nine fifty. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's what I think. Like once all the injections are gone, like, yeah. then what are they left with? Not much. Well, not much. But see, I'm not standing there going, no. oh, "This house over here, this house over there, this house over." You've got to be factual. But you can sometimes like confuse people as well with too much info. So this is what I mean about thinking about words. Don't think about the words. Think about the reasons. So why are they buying this house? Do they really like this house? Like let's take it back a bit. You don't want to move. So negotiation is all about solve, move, solve, move. Doesn't mean all the price is going to be amazing, but at least you know. But if I stood there at 880 and said, oh no, this one I had five houses, this one sold for this, and this is what this is, it just turns into an argument. Yeah. But if I'm like, oh, why? Why is that important to you? Like, how come? Well, oh, this one over here had termites. Okay, cool. Well, this is a different house, no termites. <laughs> so don't punish this house because of that house. Do you know what I mean? And I think if you think about it that way, you're in control, take a step back, breathe, think, respond. There's no rush. So that's your job. Make sure people stay emotionally engaged with what their purpose is. Because when they negotiate, always remember they think some sort of strategy needs to come into place, like a game. No one's been trained in negotiation. 
but now all of a sudden they become this negotiation game. Like there's, they went to a school of games or something. You know, what is negotiation anyway? Think about it. What is it? Why don't we go into Kmart and say, that's on 1999, go to the cash register and say, look, I'm feeling 885 for this one. Why don't we do that though? But think about it, why? That's what the value is. That's where we value is. Yeah, that's exactly right. That's right. Yeah, so that we feel like the value is fine. So that's why pricing on the houses are important. But unless the people see value in it, what's the point? So we're going to um, speak at a um, TAFE thing. TAFE course. I am. Yes. There was somebody messaged me the other day and said, we're watching your videos in TAFE. Yes. And I was like, cool. <laughs> and he said, would you come down and speak to us? I was like, sure. There you go. That's all it takes to get Matt Spineway to speak at you. Not think. really. I was like, <laughs> why did I just say that? Sure. Yeah, <laughs> okay. yeah you're committed. We've got to go. Like, yeah, okay. You'll come on Thursday. And then on Thursday comes and I'm like, I really can't fit it in, but I'm going to go anyway. There you go. Stick That's to least. what you said. Yep. How are you being on? Me? Mm. Pretty good, actually. Yeah? Pretty great. Been training this morning? Yep. Mm -hmm. My whole hard work. What do you do at the gym? Uh, just do 3.1 like, seconds. Yeah, so pretty much. <laughs> what do you actually do at the gym? Uh, do lats, lat pull downs. I don't know how to explain it. You guys don't care. Yeah, we're interested. Maybe. What's uh, the broccoli? Does everyone want to hear the broccoli workout routine? Yeah, because really, it's, it's working there. Look at that. Absolutely. So good. <laughs> Strength. So, um, so I started off with bench press. I know you have those bicep things, but you do like the seven here and then there and, and there. <laughs> what do I do next? Oh, I do like shoulder press. Then I do, um, I hate the gym. Do you? Yeah. Why? Oh, just give me anxiety. <laughs> Walk in there and everyone's just looking at you. Just go away. Really? Yeah, I just wish I had a gym in my house. Because you're broccoli and do you wear your checkered jumper in the gym? No way. No. No. I do not. Anyway, let's go to that TAFE thing, eh? Let's go. Who's finding the real estate industry maybe a bit daunting? Yeah. Let's be honest. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I've been talking to you on the phone about jobs and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Why is it like? Why is that? Getting a job, succeeding, all that sort of stuff. Five days a week, like it's just a free for all. Yeah. 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 Also, you're dealing with their most expensive asset. Yeah. Yeah. You are. It's like money, emotions, houses, like the prices people want, the market changes. Who's had the, the market's not so good? You just probably have to. Yeah, that's right. So when the market's not so good, it changes people's mindset big time. And people don't want to, like they don't want to pay the right price. But your livelihood is attached to how many listings you have and then how many people want to buy the house. So when the market changes, that's why so many people leave. Look at Purple Bricks. The whole of Purple Bricks just shut down. It's not an easy thing, but you can become massively successful if you become your own force. This is, this is what you need to do. Become a prospecting machine. Every spare minute that you get in the day, so if you have an appointment, you're gonna have some stuff, like stuff's gonna pop up, but anything that feels like fun is probably not gonna be making you money probably not going to move your business forward. So hanging out, talking to Broccoli about his weekend and all this sort of stuff, it's half an hour gone. We are our product in real estate. So you're offering, what's your name? Chris. Chris. So you're offering you. If I said, John, John, go off and find someone that wants to sell their house right now. Where do you go? Where, where do you look? What's the chances of going to Farley's house? Hey, I'm Matt. Want to sell your house, Farley? Yeah. No, okay. But what's the chance of her going, oh yes, Matt, I woke up this morning and I just thought, I really hope Matt was gonna come over and ask me if I was gonna sell their house. It's a process that people go through. You might meet someone here. Some houses I'm listing today, I've been speaking to for 20 years. Non-stop. So there's like this thing called market share. So in agent school, when you look at it, working a core area, a thousand homes, What's your name? Emma. Emma? Emma? Oh, both Emma. There you go. Right? So let's say Emma and Emma. 
This is the key here. You have an area that Emma and Emma gets really well known in. And everybody just wants to deal with Emma. Because half of your income is gonna come from this place. When agents just start their day and they take an appointment here or fly over here or do this over here, they get no consistent presence. That's why the industry average is so low. Because it's all about saturation. So I have about 50 to 60% market share in Wombrel. It's where I started. So I sell one in two homes or more. Yeah? So we list about 20 properties a month, me and Trev, and we sell about 20 properties a month. But half of them, maybe a bit less, come from here. It's like consistent, consistent, consistent. The average agent, or most agents, their, their months go like this. They'll have a good month, they'll list three houses, they'll have nothing this month, they'll have two this month, they'll have like this roller coaster. Because they don't have any consistent framework to work with. So your prospecting builds this, it builds your presence, it builds your consistency, gets you known. I'll show you how to do that in agent school as well. Imagine at 9 till 8, you probably weren't being paid at the start though. Pardon? You wouldn't be being paid going and dropping the prices. No. Yeah. no. I just get paid 300 bucks a week, that's what I was paid. No commission, no nothing. Forget about the money. Just forget about the money in this business in the beginning. Just do something else. Like you're not going to get paid hardly anything. Go work at Coles, do whatever. It'll give you a good story to tell when you're talking at seminars or at ARIC one day. Brock come to me for a job one day about um, videoing. Ne never once, even to this day, has he ever asked about money. He'll be successful. When money is your focus, and I don't know it's not, just ask me a question. Every person I met sits down and goes, so how much will I be paid? I'm like, I probably don't think it's me. I'll show you how to make whatever. You need the grunt work first. Let's earn it first, and then you'll have it. Here's a couple of quick tips. Go to market. <laughs> Go to market yourself. So when you want someone to sell your house, their house with you, you're asking for $25,000 potentially in a fee. What are you going to offer them? You've got to be an attraction person. You have an attraction business. So if you want a job, it's exactly the same. 20 something years ago, I, I stood in front of the video camera, you know the old ones, the big ones, before they had phones like this. And my mate videoed me, and I sent John McGrath a VHS video. And I said, hey, Mr. McGrath, it's Matt from Kalani Vale. Um, I think you're amazing or whatever I said and I'd really love to catch up with you at some point. He rang me and said, can you come have breakfast with me? I didn't know him, I was just an agent up in Kalani Vale. He said, it's the best piece of marketing I've seen in 18 years. So I went and had breakfast with him, stayed in contact with him, and today we have seven McGrath offices. But that one moment where I met Lucky's attention was the reason that that opportunity was created. Later, you can be a franchise then, but it was many years later. You've got to stand out. Do a cool video, text it to the owner of the business, um, something. And don't ever give up. If you want to work somewhere, they want to see that you can. They want to see, and I would sit there and say, I was work for nothing. If it means I'm going to work for your company. Okay? Best tip I can give. We learn a lot and we really appreciate your time. Thank you for that. So basically we know we need to market ourselves differently than everyone else. Our goal is to have like 1,000 houses and to really get the area for ourselves. We, we use our time wisely and basically overall saturate the area and we really appreciate everything. Thanks. Thanks Matt for coming in. You really helped build my confidence. Uh, very relatable and informative. Confidence boosting. Thanks Matt. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for coming.